Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel Star Agent Starco Gaming here back with another Marvel Future Fight video guys it's been a while since we did an Alliance Production Guide and well we are back with one today today we're going to be covering female super villain with awakening skill of mystic so the first of all the team you want to use mystic lead because she already get 45 percent increase to all attack and all speed increased by six percent and then you want to use black cat because black cat when uh, she strike she has a chance to reduce the armor buff on the beast so very very important and then you want to use a, a character that strikes since there are no actual team up with mystics and uh, the one I actually performed the best for me is actually uh, Emma Frost with her villain uniform. You could also go with this one here, Viper. Viper strike when attacking compared to, uh, to Emma Frost striking when attack. And I feel like striking when attack is actually uh, performing a little bit better in my personal opinion. But if you have different, uh, different experience, guys, make sure to share it in the in the comment section guys so uh, the feedback is very very important so what we're going to do in the first part of this video guys we're going to go through the build and the skill rotation then we're going to jump into the gameplay and show you how awesome she is in alliance battle stream so let's jump right into that guys uh first this character this mystic was uh, from my friend account uh, juggling uh, very high rank but very very lacking in the physical attack because he had to use so much other stuff in the euro section he had to sacrifice physical attack to make sure to cap all the stats so the physical attack as you can see here with her own leadership is 31,539 and this is actually very low if you look at people uh, you know the top players have like 36,000 without leadership so that's minus a 45 percent increase of all attack that's uh well for example what people like all father which is one of the top if not the top alliance battle stream player in the game that's what it's running with so 36,000 plus 45 percent increase of all attack so uh, a lot of attack compared to me and he does about six million and uh, i could probably push four million with this account so it's still a pretty pretty solid build here uh, definitely so uh let's go with the stats here important to max school down ignore defense as always then you want to max a uh, dodge and critical rate as much as possible then you want to get your critical damage as close as possible as a cap and you can see that is why we don't use that many physical attack hero on her because we had to max out all those stats we have 31 that uh yeah 31,539 physical attack as we said we have 126.29 percent attack speed what will really help her in maxing out her stats will actually get a either more Odin Blessing or a Uniform for Mystic, which are the only two possibility with this account to actually min-max that Mystic. So if you look at the Yuru, you can see one, two, and three, only three physical attack Yuru here. And then we have a few Blessing to make up, two, four, six, seven Blessing, which is not that much compared to, uh, if you see the crazy score, you're gonna see they have like 20, 25 Blessing. And they have crazy, crazy physical attacks. I just want to put the comparison there, guys. So you're not like, hey, this guy score more. Yes, this guy score more because he has a better build. That doesn't mean he has a better rotation. That doesn't mean he has a, uh, he's better at the Lance Ball Extreme. He just has a better build. Just want to state that out real fast. Okay, so next, Iso set. We have the Akai's Iso set. So we're going to get the skill cooldown, uh, the dodge the critical rate and critical damage so those are all very useful stats and the all attack obviously offensive is all set and the attack procs are 40 percent uh, once it's fully awakened and you can see here uh, those bonus are maximized for the dodge those chaotic iso which is what you want to do when you want to min max your stats as much as possible like this one to actually be switched to critical rate and physical attack to be and dodge to be honest uh, that will work too, but uh, the critical rate is fine where it is, uh, in my opinion. Custom gear, we have CTP of Rage with very high stats. 
28.1% critical rate, 31.3%. Dutch rate and the max stats on the CDPF rate, which are uh, increased 0.9% damage per 1% Dutch rate and critical rate, regardless of guaranteed judge and guaranteed critical rate, which means guaranteed Dutch and guaranteed critical rate do not apply to the CDPF rate, only the native Dutch and the rate, critical rate, and in your bus damage decrease by 60% for five seconds and with a cooldown time of seven seconds can see she does not have a uniform now for the skills you can see we have that awakening skills unlocked thank you juggling for investing into her for allowing her allowing us to actually make this alliance ball stream guide uh, personally my mystic is actually 40 gem away from that that skill i can know wait man one more week one more week and we're gonna have mystic so in two weeks we're actually gonna be able to showcase my mystic on stream guys that's gonna be awesome so uh what's important with the skills first we check the leadership already let's take a look at this passive she get guaranteed dodge rate by 25 percent grant guaranteed critical rate by 25 percent again that does not apply to the uh, ctpf rage guys but it really helps the critical rate and the guaranteed critical rate in procking that ctpf rage still because the proc happened on critical attacks but the uh increased damage you get is not uh it's not affected by the guaranteed critical rate uh and the tier 2 passive here we have uh increased damage done to super villain type character by 40 percent which is the part that's gonna matter in alliance ball extreme now for the skill rotation skill rotation is very simple guys you want to do three cancel five why three because you get the accumulated damage so three cancel five and here the five will give you all attack increase all speed and all those buff now after you use that when the proc the green icon of the proc is switching from four to three seconds you want to chain with the skill number six and then when well, well that's when the skill number six is available by the way guys that so that's pretty much the initial rotation you're gonna do three cancel five when the the clock switch from four to three seconds on the proc you're gonna go with that tier 2.5 skills and then when the menu to appear and you think that it is time for the proc to happen again you're gonna do three cancel five again you're gonna let the proc well you're gonna get let the fifth skill go till the mystics slash towards the frost beast when mystic slash toward the frost beast like that's the frost beast that mystic when mystic is like here you're gonna cancel that fifth skill with the fourth skill you're going to get let the four skill go all the way till you see the big fat wolverine uh, in zoom in your screen then when that happens you're going to go with the second skill first skill and then you're going to repeat the rotation until your tier 2.5 skill is available again and you can actually you know use it again and boost your damage and that is pretty much how you use the skill sometimes the third skill will not uh, be coordinate with the fifth skill when that happened you ignore the third skill and you go with the fifth skill is very 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 important that you start or very close to start the proc with the fifth skill if you don't you're gonna lose all your sync and your score is gonna lose about a million of score because it's gonna take you a while to get that sync back on and you're gonna be ruined for the run so it's very 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 important to keep that solid now uh, i know it's a lot to take in for the skill rotation skill priority guys but this is why we have a gameplay section you guys are going to be able to see in action and that i explain the skill rotation will allow you guys to actually pay attention to that skill rotation better and see what i'm actually doing and you're going to see at the end i get screwed i get snared by the beast and actually i lose about 200 000 point minimum probably up to between 200 and 400 000 point uh just by getting snared by the beast and i actually had to alternate my rotation well pretty much restart my rotation at that point to be able to get my sync on par and you're gonna see it in that a close to the in the last 30 seconds if i'm not mistaken of the run you're gonna see it so uh that will have been a 4 million run with only 31 000 uh, physical attack 
uh, with leadership. So definitely, uh, if we had full Odin Blessing, that's going to be an easy 6 million. Probably be able to push uh, 6.5 million with a very solid build if if I was the one playing the account personally. But she is very, very, very strong, guys. And she is also meta for speed villain. Not only speed female, but speed villain too. With Dr. Octopus, there's actually a strategy between both that we're going to be covering in a couple of days, three days. Uh, on the Wednesday, it's two days, three days, three days, we are Sunday. So in three days, we're going to be covering that part. But for now, guys, I'll leave you with the gameplay section so you guys can learn how to play her properly. So you guys enjoy the gameplay section. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. I'll feedback. Everything is all, always a very, very important to me don't forget that i stream monday through saturday on twitch.tv and youtube link to twitch is in the description down below by the way guys we have extra perks available on twitch that sadly youtube does not offer so it's always better to watch the stream on twitch so uh, guys enjoy the gameplay section and i will see you in the next video